Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is a review on the Wet n Wild Pro Brush. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Shelby's video if something didn't go wrong. So let's let's restart that, okay? <laughs> Take two. Today's video is a review on the Wet n Wild Pro Brush Set. This is a brush set that they came out with for the holidays, and it's only $30. So if you are curious to see if these are really worth the money, then just keep on watching. Can't believe I just hit myself in the face. Oh my god, that actually hurt. <laughs> okay. This set comes with 10 brushes, and it pretty much comes with brushes that you can use um, for every single step of your makeup. So like your foundation, your powder, your bronzer, your highlight, your blush, your eyes, your crease, your... You know what I mean? It comes with a ton of brushes. So the first one that I used is this brush right here. I used this to set down my concealer on my eyes, so it had a nice even base, and it was just really smooth, and it worked really well. So far, what I can tell from these brushes is they are so soft. Incredibly soft. I've never tried brushes this soft ever, and I have a bunch of brushes now. It didn't give me any problems, and I really like this brush. The next brush is the Fluffy Blending Brush. I used this brush to blend out my transition shade and then also a few shades on the outer corner. This is also a very, very soft brush. Honestly, I'm going to say that for all of them, so let's just say it now. They're all very soft. kind of reminds me of a Morphe brush, but I feel like this is a little softer and it blends out eyeshadows a little more evenly. I also used it for this eye look today and I feel like my eyeshadow has been looking phenomenal lately just because of these brushes. I don't know if that's just me, but that's what I'm feeling. The next brush is more of a tapered blending brush. I use this on my outer corners to blend out those dark colors and then I also used it in my crease with the dark colors and it blended out really nicely. Like I was really impressed by this brush. It also reminds me of another Morphe brush and these are just so much softer. The bristles aren't scratchy at your eyes at all so that's what I really am impressed with especially because it's only $30 for the set of 10 and I actually really like this brush. I use this to blend out the eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line as well and it blended it beautifully. And the last eye brush that comes in this set is a little pencil brush. So this is an awesome pencil brush. Oh my goodness. It's like the perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big, and it's really tightly packed, but it picks up a lot of product and then it blends it really nicely. I used this on my lower lash line today too. I mean, I can't step away from these, honestly. Like, I use all the brushes on today's tutorial as well. So I'm just letting you know now. So now on to face brushes. So the first brush that I used is a foundation brush and it has more of a slant in it. And as you can see, like in the center of it, it divots a little bit. So it holds a lot of product in the center. This brush makes foundations really easy to blend out. It doesn't leave those streaks on your face either. So that's a major plus with this brush. And I really like this shape. I feel like it's really easy to get underneath your eyes and in this little corner. The next brush is a powder brush. This brush is insanely good. It's like my new found love. I don't know why it's so good, but I think I love the shape of it. I don't have any powder brushes this shape. It's like really pinched together at the handle and then it fluffs out and then it comes to a little bit of a taper at the top. It has a ton of bristles and they're kind of tightly packed, but then they're really fluffy and just really silky on the skin. It doesn't tug at your skin whatsoever and it blends out powder perfectly. It doesn't like cake it on where it just sticks and you can't blend it. It's just such a nice feeling brush on your skin as well. Like I could just touch it to my skin every single day because it's that soft. And I just love the shape of it. I just feel like they killed it with this brush especially because this is my favorite brush in the whole collection. So now onto the bronzer brush. Um, this isn't necessarily named the bronzer brush, but it's named the flat contour brush, I believe. 
I used this for my contour and my bronzer and it worked really nicely. The only thing is I wish it wasn't so round. I wish it was pinched a little bit so it would be easier to just get like a really precise line on my face but this brush blended out the contour and bronzer beautifully. You could also use this brush for blush but I prefer a different brush for that so I used this for my bronzer and contour and it worked really well. The next brush I use for my blush, I really like this because it's like the perfect size. A lot of my blush brushes are a little bit too big, so they dispense the blush kind of like all over my cheek, but as you can see, it really just keeps it in a nice area and it kind of just goes wherever you want it to go. Like it doesn't just spread because it's too big and it's too fluffy. It's that perfect density. It just makes applying blush really, really easy. The next is the highlighting brush. I actually really enjoy this highlighting brush. I think I don't like it as much as my Anastasia um, A23, right? Is it A23? Yes. The bristles are really tightly packed, but they're really fluffy. So when you're applying the highlight on your face, it kind of disperses it, and it just really makes it look soft and kind of like that wet look to your face. I don't know how else to explain it, but that's what it reminded me of, and it just makes it look really natural. Like, it doesn't apply too much at one time. It picks up a bunch of product, but it definitely disperses it really, really nicely. And then the last brush, I'm not sure what this one is called, maybe the flat contour brush. I'm not 100% sure, but I used this brush to clean up my contour and my bronzer with some translucent powder and it worked really well. I really don't reach for brushes like this at all when I'm doing my makeup, so it was nice to just use it for that reason and actually find a reason to use it, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is a good brush as well. They're all good brushes, let's be honest. That is my review on the Wet n Wild Pro brush set for the holidays. I think you guys should 120% pick it up. If you can find it, it is online, I believe. And I believe it is in Walgreens right now. So if you go to your local Walgreens and check it out and you see it, pick it up because it's totally worth it. If you guys are looking for some gift sets for your loved ones, I would highly recommend this, especially if you have a daughter, a sibling, a nephew, a friend that loves makeup and is always looking for new things. I would definitely recommend this product. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. It was really fun for me to try these out, especially in a tutorial and show you guys. And then I liked how I got to review them in a later video. So if you like that, don't forget to give this two thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves!